Kingston flips the end zone. Wide open once again is Olary. Not for a loss. Russia Green. Hi, everybody. You know, since the draft was reduced to seven rounds back in 1994, USC and Miami have led the way in a three-year span with 28 players chosen. That number, though, could change this year. Florida State may be able to do it in Chicago. Ray Crawford here with Pete Futek and Doug Chapman. So let's look at the Seminoles this year and their top six players that you would draft. You'll lead us off here. All right, no way am I endorsing Jameis Winston as the number one overall pick he in this is. draft. But for a lot of Florida State players, yes, he is the best prospect among the Seminoles this year by far. By far the best quarterback in a bad draft of quarterbacks. He does have all the raw tools. You gotta stay away from those interceptions, but you gotta look at what his arm strength is, his size. He might be a very, very good quarterback for a long time. He's just nothing immortal. And, and who protected him and snapped him the ball was center Cameron Irvin. That's what I'm taking next. Remember, this guy came in and played defensive tackle. Then he moved to offense and protected EJ Manuel. Then he moved to center to play in front of Jameis Winston. Huge. Probably the best offensive lineman, arguably, in the entire draft. The most athletic, never gets pushed back into the quarterback's pocket. Very firm and has great feet to get out on the eggs. Amazing athlete. Next, I'm going to go with Rashad Green. I'm telling you, man, people are asleep on this guy. Very underrated. Only the best wide receiver in the history of Florida State. And they've had some pretty good wide receivers come through there. Not the biggest, not the fastest. Plays every single position. Very smart player. Excellent hands. He'll be a great pro. Think about Florida State players. Whenever you see these guys, they look the part. They look central casting, including P.J. Williams, my pick. He's not going to be the first corner taken. That's going to be Trey Waynes out of Michigan State. But he's going to be right up there. He's not as blazing fast as you might like, but he's smooth as silk. He's a a baller, he can hit, he can do just about everything as a pure cover corner. With my next pick, another guy who fits the mold, that's Eddie Goldman. 6'4", 336 pounds, and quick, quick, quick off the ball. He can be an interior pass rusher, he can hold the line, he is what you want in a defensive tackle. Might slip out of the, the first range of defensive tackles, but he's going to be a great pick for somebody. And last, I'm going with Nick O'Leary, tight end. You know what my running back coaches to call guys like this a football playing Jesse. Never looks real pretty. Doesn't have on gloves, he's real gritty, not fast, not strong, but he just makes plays. Highly productive guy, you can put him at H-back, tight end. He's not going to wow you at the combine, won't wow you physically, but when you turn the film on, he just makes plays. If I'm a GM, I'm drafting Nick O'Leary. All right, guys, here are then your six picks. Getting back to that mark set by Miami and USC. The Knowles need 11 in this draft to get to 29 and break that mark. You see six here. Do they get five more? And they do might. It? There's a lot of guys left off this list. The thing about this year's Florida State class, though, is it's really top-heavy. They might have eight, nine, ten guys go in the top four or five rounds, and then it's probably going to stop. This is a very, very talented group, but they could get there. They could get a couple guys straight yeah, Carlos, well, Carlos Williams could have fall, fallen on this yep. list as well. They've got a – this is Florida State. They're loaded with talent. That's why they'll be back again next year, one of the top teams in the nation. I wouldn't be surprised if they get the record. Well, speaking of records, Louisville had a school best three first round picks taken last year. How does this year's class of Cardinals look? We're drafting Louisville on Campus Insiders.